Welcome back to the channel, folks, and thanks for being here. Today, we're going to install the pistons, cylinders, heads, and pushrod tubes and torque them down. I want to thank you for being here to my subscribers, and if you've not yet subscribed, please do so. I really appreciate it. Let's get started. So, oh, as you see, I got number one and number two already done. So I'm going to take things to the second side with me here and do number three and number four. Now I have my pistons ready. Like you see in the last video, I clocked the rings, showed you how to do that. Not that I'm an expert, but I was just showing you what I've learned over the years. I got my wrist pins ready, oiled up already, of course, and half slid in. The snap rings are on the inner sides. They're already in there, okay? And I got my little chart ready for torquing because there's a different sequence with the seven pound and then you go to 18 pound. There's two different sequences, okay? No problem. I got my aviation sealer for my nice, pretty push rod tubes and the new O-rings. I call my rings seals. I got my snap rings ready. Oh, oh, oh there it is. Okay. And I have my ultra copper that I use around cylinders do what you want that's what i do use what you want uh everybody does something different i use ultra copper around there it's what my buddy always used and never had an issue so i'm gonna go ahead put that on there and then we'll be right back okay i got my ultra copper around the cylinders don't go crazy with it just enough to seat them i oiled up my wrist pins and slid them through just to the point of here. So once your connecting rod goes in, you can push it right through. All right, on here, turn. I just have my pulley sitting on there to turn it. Turn it, so number three is all the way out, okay? You can put a little oil through this hole. Take your finger and put some oil around there so that it slides through easier. So let's do that first. Okay, let's put a little oil in here a little smear around. You want it to slide easy. Okay. Okay, take the clutch alignment tool if you got one and just push it in all the way okay okay bell breaker taught me this little trick here's a 5-8 socket tap it to make sure it's seated Okay, and I'm going to take a look with the light just to make sure it's seated all the way in there. And it did. Okay, now I'm going to take a screwdriver, make sure this clip is seated the whole way down. I'm paranoid with this type of stuff. Okay, and then spin it a little bit. Just put one prong in one side and then on the other side of the bevel and try to spin it to make sure it's seated. You don't want these coming out. Oh, so, I got it down the studs, just like that. Bam. All right, let me move you around so you can see. There you got a front row seat now. All right, we're gonna turn this. Let me flight this a minute. Got dirt on it with my hand. Bring it 
up top. Okay, perfect. There we go. You want to oil that. fill it in there and there we go let's get our snap ring you know what do this put a rag there because if that snap ring would slip off well you know Okay, I'm going to give it a little tap. And we'll follow the seat. I want to go ahead and spin it. Okay, it's spun. Take your time, move slow, never rush. Okay. Clean up my mess here. Like I said, use what you want. Back in the day, they used paper gaskets for God's sake, so. I use the ultra copper. Some people use gasket cinch. Some people, well, use a lot of different things, I guess. So use what you see fit. Don't nail me for what I use. Use what you want. Flywheel side, crank pulley side. And there's my arrows pointing to the flywheel. Trust me, if you can't see it, it is. Okay, so we got that together. You can see the sealer squirted out a little and I got my messy fingers on it. I'll clean it up later. Not a big deal. All right, next, the push rod tubes. Okay, before you put your push rod tubes on, don't forget your heat shield. It snaps in down underneath here. Because once you put the push rod tubes on, it's too late. Like I did to the other side, but I gotta take that apart. Lovely, huh? Oh well. It was moving too quick. Seams up. Okay, so push rod tubes are in. Let's set the heads down on. Got your push rod tubes in. They're in. You're gonna get in your way a minute. There we go. Okay, putting on washers. Okay, the thing looks seated okay. All right, can you see? All right, spinning nuts on.
make sure your studs are clean or you'll get the improper torque value. Take my ratchet and just snug them down. Don't tighten them, you're just snugging a little bit. The push rod tubes still need to compressed. See, these ones are loose now from me doing that. Because your first torque value is only seven foot pound. Take your time doing this part, don't rush. Okay, the first sequence is what you see here. That is seven foot pound. So, this one's already loosened up from snugging the other ones. Okay. And seven there. That one loosened a little, it's normal. Okay. Okay. And of course these are loose. I tried to use my clicker torque wrench that it don't want to click at that low of a value. So, it is what it is. All right. Okay, that's seven foot pounds. Now, this is the way I do it. You can do it which way you want. Next, I should be going to the second sequence and doing 18 pounds. I did seven pounds, now I'm gonna to move to 12. That's just the way I do it. Now we're gonna do the second sequence, as you see here. Now we're gonna take it to the 18. Let's start here. Whoop. Okay. So, we got everything torqued down. Hopefully it's okay. I don't trust that torque wrench, but that's all I got right now. Make sure your push rod tubes are lined up good. Take a peek underneath. Make sure everything's lined up good. Don't forget that heat shield. I did on the other side and, well, it's too late. I gotta pull apart now. Okay. Hey, I'm not doing it today, but all you'll be doing is dropping your push rod, tube, push rod tubes down in if you can't wait till the next video, and you're putting your rocker arms on with a wavy washer and a 13 millimeter nut. I believe that's eight millimeter thread. Tightening them up to 18 foot pounds, and then of course you'll adjust your rocker arms later. But I'm not going that far yet today because I got other stuff to do. So that's that in a nutshell. That's the motor we've been messing with. Unfortunately, I gotta pull that side apart to put the heat shield back in.
because I was moving along and not paying attention. I told you I'll show my screw ups. So make sure you don't forget that heat shield guys. So that's that so far. That's together and we'll continue on. All right, so we got the cylinders on, the pistons, the heads, and the pushrod tubes and torque down. I got to unfortunately take number one and two cylinder back apart because I forgot to put the heat shield in. I'm not happy about that. Okay, well anyhow, it happens. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a great day.